Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to SBM 121, which is supervision. Uh, I think anybody who's worked knows the value of a good supervisor uh, versus a bad supervisor, especially if you've had a bad supervisor um, and you have something to compare it to. Uh, so this course is all about, I guess, the academic uh, knowledge that uh, we need to help us become good supervisors and, and managers as well. Um, I think... Uh, as you go through it, you realize a lot of supervisory skills aren't really academic or textbook skills, they're, they're people skills. Um, but this will teach us a little bit about the theory and the practice of it, um, because definitely being a good supervisor is something we can all learn to do. It's, it's uh, very natural to some people, but uh, most of us have to put in effort uh, to become good at it. So I just wanted to to kind of walk you through how the course is set up to, to give you an idea of, of what to expect. Um, so here I am, sorry for like the pink border. Uh, this is when an instructor goes into student view. Uh, this, we get this pink border, that's all that is. Um, anyway, so when you log in, you'll, get, you'll come to the homepage. Up at the top, there'll be announcements. Please keep an eye on those. That's where I try to get information out to you that's important for the class, kind of a what's coming up sort of things, and then just uh, you know interesting things we might see in the world of supervision. Um, so this first tab over here will take you to the syllabus, which is all of the information about the class, um, all in one place, including my contact information, my email, my phone, um, my cell phone if you need to text me for something. Um, and my Zoom uh, link, if we, if you ever want to meet with me via Zoom, um, you know, we'll make an appointment and we'll use that that Zoom address. Um, most of the the work of the course will be done in the modules. So the modules are broken down. Um, there's a welcome module that will tell you just a little bit about me and, and an overview of the course. Um, and other general information. And then there's textbook information. Uh, this course uses uh, something called Cengage Now, uh, which is a homework manager and e-textbook. Um, the reason we've gone to Cengage Now, you'll notice this uh, kind of across the business division, uh, is because they're part of what's called Cengage Unlimited, which allows you to pay a single fee and get all of the books um, for a semester. And so, um, the way it, it works is you pay either for a four-month subscription, a one-year subscription, or a two-year subscription. Um, and then for that period of time, you have access to all Cengage products. You don't have to buy, pay different amounts um, for all of your different books. So in theory, you know, in our business programs, something like 10 to 12 of your courses will use Cengage. Um, and so if, if you were going to do a two-year program with us and you paid $249.99, uh, if you took 10 courses and that was all included, that would come out to a, a book cost of $24.99 uh, per class. Um, so that's this, us trying to get the cost down for you. Um, the other thing that's cool is if you're one of those people who really likes a hard copy of the book, uh, with your Cengage Unlimited subscription, uh, you can pay them $9.99 shipping and handling, and they'll send you a hard copy of the book you can use for the semester. So anyway, um, this little section in the modules will tell you about the textbook and then how to get registered for Cengage Unlimited. And like I said, if you're taking accounting and um, economics and this class, um, you'll just pay the one price and uh, all of your books will be included in that. Um, after that comes the modules for activity. So we'll start with week one, which is just getting started, some basic information and a couple little quizzes to make sure you've read through the syllabus and make sure you've read the academic integrity policy. Uh, and then we get into um, the chapters of the book in the, in the following week. Um, uh, actually, I take that back. Um, week one is gonna include getting started and the first chapter of the book. And then uh, because this is an eight week course, we'll be covering two chapters of material each week. So um, each chapter is set up the same way. There's an overview and to-do list, which you can click on if you want to. Um, and it lists uh, what the overview of the chapter is, what the learning objectives are, and then a to-do list, the things you need to do to be successful in the course that week. Um, it mirrors the way the module is set up so you can see the first thing you do is read through the textbook. Uh, there is a presentation, a video where I 
kind of like a little lecture. Uh, I try to keep those to around 15 minutes max. Um, and so, you know, that's what we'd hope you would do is read through the chapter and watch the watch the little mini lecture. Uh, there's also in the additional study materials, a full PowerPoint that the publisher provides. I just uploaded that there. So if you want to, some people really learn well by that. There's some flashcards you can use for studying and then an interactive quiz. Um, this isn't for a grade. It's just a study material, but some people again uh, like to do those interactive quizzes. Um, and then in the expand section here, you can see that you have a group discussion an individual assignment. Um, and those both have are for a grade and then a quiz down in the evaluate section. Um, you can tell what assignments ha are worth points because they have points by them, okay? And so really that's how the course is structured. Uh, I like to have not a lot of surprises, a very consistent structure. I know that can get boring sometimes, but on the other side of it is, is you know what to expect and, and how to plan your days when you're going through the course. Um, anyway, so there's sort of a, a brief, uh, overview of the structure of the course. Uh, we also have grades where you can see your grades. And then some other things over here are probably will make badges go away. We don't really do badges in this course because we don't need no stinking badges. Um, but NetTutor, uh, which is a pretty cool tool if you're, if you're struggling in this course or any of your courses, you can uh, talk to um, a live tutor using NetTutor uh, and get help. Uh, in, you know, so in addition, being able to reach out to the teacher, there's also net tutor, and then there's physical tutors here on campus. Uh, you know, real people that you can come get help from. Uh, the libraries link, the bookstores link, uh, the schedule for the in-person tutoring here, um, and so that's all there for you um, to try to keep the course just as structured as you need it. Um, I want you to know that even though it's an online course, I um, I do my best to be available to you. I will try my very best. Uh, to get back to you the same day if you reach out uh, and within 24 hours uh, for sure. Uh, I, I will say if, if I, I don't usually check my work email on the weekends um, or sometimes like once on Saturday, but it's possible if you email me or something on a Friday night uh, that I may not respond to you till Monday. And I have I have classes all morning, so I, I probably wouldn't respond until Monday afternoon, actually. So j just be aware of that. Other other than that, during the week, I'm I'm right there. And and like I said, I do try to take a look at it on Saturday, but sometimes I have stuff or, that I can't. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, don't be afraid to reach out if you ever want like a one on one meeting in person or via uh, via Zoom, uh, whatever. I'm I'm more than happy to do that. So good luck in the class. And um, I hope to, to see and uh, meet each of you a little bit uh, online. Thanks.